I had to come all the way to a barrio in Colombia to get support. No one in the United States wants to be involved in all dreams. Turned down by almost every single accelerator. Some people I know they're getting value from this. I know it. I don't care about politics. I only care about my mission to make impact and my family. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, July 26, 2024. It is 7.44 in the morning here in Cartagena, Colombia. Welcome to my channel. Um, man, okay, we made it through. <laughs> I think we got good work in this week so far. Um, still more to do. And uh, man, it won't stop. It won't stop. I want to say a couple things real fast, okay? Because I posted a video the other day about uh, my thoughts about Kamala Harris and the cliquish black community, right? And the, Demo the Dems or whatever, okay? 67 views, 12 comments. That's like, that, it's off. You understand? Like, people have so much to say. And what I'm going to say right now, for anyone that watched that, that watched this, I don't care enough to go back and forth with you about this stuff. It does not concern me enough. I don't care. I have a clear goal and vision that I'm going towards that has nothing to do with that. That was my thought at that time. And I said it, put the video, edited it, and put it out. That's the beauty of doing this as I'm doing it daily. Because I have thoughts right then and there about something. And then I say it. Okay? Today, I may have feel, feel I may feel different. But that's what I felt at the moment and I felt I needed to say it, okay? But to go back and forth through comments, I don't care enough. That's why I'm here. I don't care about politics. I only care about my mission to make impact and my family. Okay? That's all I care about. So none of that concerns me. And if you want to know my goals and what I'm going to do and my plans, it's very, very simple. And I, I want to document this right now, today, just so we, I can go back on this day, Friday, July 26, 2024, at 7.47 a.m. in the morning, okay? I'm on a five-year plan. As soon as my platform and my company launches, hopefully November 1st, that's when the time ticks and starts, okay? I'm on a five-year plan. My five-year plan is to build my company, my platform, to enough where my shares are worth $10 million, okay? And I'm going to sell my shares, or at least the majority of my shares, okay? And in five years, that's going to happen. I'm going to build this, I will be mostly here, I will be doing business in New York, wherever I need to go to do business, but I will be mostly here in this little place building my company, in that little apartment building my company, I am dedicated for the next five years, maybe even more, and my mission still remains is to support one million dreamers worldwide 
through my platform. Okay? So, politics, you, any, any, anybody that watches, if you don't give me money, which I don't want your money unless I give you value for a service, I don't care enough. And I'm just being honest. I don't care enough. In five years, I'll be 50. My youngest daughter will be 16. My oldest daughter will be 23. And my middle daughter will be 22. I could care less about a Kamala Harris. I could care less about a Donald Trump and what the Democrats and what the fuck Republicans got going on or what the fuck the United States got got going on with this everyday stuff and this everyday divide I'm about bringing people together that's like-minded that's independent that has purpose and wants to give value to the world that's all I'm here for. And I'm then and then I'm documenting it all. Okay? And I'm not here to disrespect anybody. Okay? But I just needed to say that on this Friday. Because I don't care enough. And I want you to know my mission is clear. And that's what I'm doing. I don't care. Now I can get to work. First thing on the agenda today is to edit the how I built the container store and sold it video. That's a story time video. Hopefully I can get that ready by Sunday. Um, I have a friend that's supposed to come here to the office today. He owns, uh, uh, he's a founder as well, and he owns a, a biomedical company here in Cartagena. And he, um, he needs some tutorials and some video work done. So, he wants to talk about hiring me to do it for him. And we'll see what the numbers is like and if it if it's worth it. I wouldn't mind helping him out, you know. Um, see, that's the thing about, like, skills. Like, if you have skills, you'll always be able to, to make money. Like, I had, he creates was a company, and it's still a company, but I just don't, I stopped creating for other people. Um, I only create for myself. So uh, everything that I'm probably doing will be under the He Creates umbrella. So if I uh, one day take all of this and sell it, uh, licensing all of the projects that I've done, whether it's We All Have Dreams movie, Project 45, this daily, whatever I'm doing, um, if I take everything and license it, it will be licensed under He Creates. But the point I was saying is, it's about skills, stacking skills, okay? When you stack skills, you will never be completely down and out. Okay, because somebody's going to need your services in some way. Shooting is video, shooting professional video, I can do. Editing professional video, I can do. Uh, storytelling for a brand, marketing, all of these things that I've been doing in my businesses, I can always do for somebody else. If I if I just wanted to, if my startup just completely failed, I can always 
still run, he creates and still make $100,000 a year for sure. Okay? Um, and do videos and do marketing for companies and storytell for, for companies. Because I see all of these companies are missing storytelling. All of these companies need to take my framework. Like, because they have, like, like most of these companies that, ain't, that, that aren't doing anything, their storytelling is just, it's, it's not good. Same thing, same thing with individuals, personal branding wise. They, like, they're just not, their messaging just is not there, okay? And that's the, the beauty of long form video is all of these 20, 20 minute videos, all of these 30 minute videos, they can always be taken and clips can be extracted from them, whether it be for Instagram, whether it be for TikTok. Like, that's why I really like the long, the long form format because it serves more than one purpose, okay? But skills, guys, skills. Stack your skills and you'll always be able to earn a living, okay? Uh, so I'm going to start my day because I have this to do. I got a couple hours work on this. I still need to work out. Um, I still need to do, of course, I need to do stuff pertaining to my startup. I need to do stuff pertaining to uh, the hero story, meetings. So look, this is... This is daily, okay? This is daily. And this is dedication. This is like hard work. Like I don't I don't leave here till 8 p.m. probably. Okay? And look, this is a sacrifice that I'm making for right now. And I'm fine with it. Because I'm happy doing this. Some people some people I know they're getting value from this. I know it. Some people I know they're getting value from this. And they might not say it, but they're getting something from this. And if I add value just to one person, man, I'm doing my job. Because it's gonna continue. Crazy out here right now. It's been raining like this all day. Hungry, man. I really like this video right here. Um, it's a story time video that I did. And uh, I just dived in and just cut the whole video. Took me some time though. It's like four o'clock, close to four o'clock. So took me some time, but I really like this story. So I feel a little bit better than I did earlier this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I really urge you, if you want a good story, watch the video that I'm going to release on Sunday about taking an idea, making a business out of it, and running the business for almost two years and then selling that business and the resilience that it took in order for that to happen. So. Yeah, check out that video on Sunday. What's going on? What's going on? Finishing out the day. It is, uh, man, I don't even know what time it is. 6.25 p.m. 6.25 p.m. Finishing out the day. Um, most of this day was 
editing, man, I had a real important meeting with the guy that owns this property right here. The guy that rented this to me, um, this All Dreams Columbia HQ, and also the apartment upstairs. And um, man, if you, I'm not sure if, uh, so anybody that's new, man, building a startup is like super hard. I just wanna mention that it's really, really hard. And it hasn't been the best of times. Like you don't have an abundance of money when you're trying to build something. And I invested a lot of money into this place. Uh, we thought it was gonna be a t-shirt line. We thought it was gonna be a clothing company and that didn't work out. So lost out on maybe like 10 grand of inventory. And it's just been loss after loss after loss and, you know, trying to get this business uh, profitable has been crazy. But then once I pivoted to making a platform, we, I, I, you know, I knew that the business was going to be telling stories of athletes, but I never thought about a tech company until last year around June, right? We're over a year in and still have not completed the platform. The platform will be finished by October. Meanwhile, bills are still due in both places, here in the States. Kids need things and today I was blessed with my landlord Javier wanting to come on board with all dreams as an equity stakeholder. And it's crazy because no one in the United States wants to be involved in all dreams. Like like I get got like turned down by almost every single accelerator and except for what I, the uh, founders go big, but uh, with Launch New York, but every accelerator turned all dreams down, like like hundreds of investors that I've sent emails to, some didn't get back, Mo everybody passed though at the end of the day. And it, it's just been rough trying, trying to get that first check and for him to wanna come on board as an equity stakeholder takes a lot off of my shoulders where I'm just able to focus on creating and building the business. Like, man, it just, it means a lot. And it's crazy that I had to come to, all the way to a barrio. Look, I'm in a barrio. And I had to come all the way to a barrio in Colombia to get support. It's crazy. My friends wouldn't even support me. No friends of mine that invested any money with me, you know, into all dreams. And that's okay, I'm not asking y'all to. I'm just telling the story that today I was blessed with Javier coming on board as a stakeholder in all dreams. And that puts a lot of relief off of this place right here. Um, like I said, where I'm just able to build. All right, guys, I was, I'm going to go get something to eat. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.